All right, y'all, so before we get in this video, right, I have a dilemma, right? First of all, what is your favorite food, right? Because when I tell people what my favorite food is, I tell them my favorite food is pizza. So my favorite pizza spot is Pizza Hut. But is it weird that I'd rather have Wingstop over Pizza Hut? And would that make wings my favorite food and not pizza? Y'all don't care? You right, my fault. Every day we lit, bitch, it's Christmas. Three grams in my wood, ain't no incense. DJ from the clan when they ask, damn, who is this? C's on my body for Dior, you can't get this. Big farms when we pull up, we ain't riding, ain't no stick shit. Sport mode pulling off, going fast, though. If I crash, then I die with a bath. Oh. My bitch mad, she gonna cry in a jag, though. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Double D back at it again with another video, and I'm still the most consistent YouTuber that you know. And don't say I'm not because you know I am. But thank y'all for tapping in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We're on the road to 1K subs. I'm trying to get to 1k before my birthday which is on february 15th so if y'all want to send me a gift you know what i'm saying just you know follow me on the social media link down below you know what i'm saying and you know get my information and you can send me a little something something but you know turn the notifications so you know the next time i post and all that and i'm not even gonna hold y'all for too long we just gonna get straight into the video this video is gonna take place you know back in elementary school i was about maybe 11 or 12 years old i'm not really sure it's in the fifth or sixth grade i, I don't know for certain Right, but you know, back in elementary school, you didn't have a care in the world, man. All you had to do was worry about getting cartoons, you feel me? Soldier Boy was out. Soldier Boy up in the you y'all was youing through recess and all that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to worry about a hole breaking your heart. Actually, it did break my heart in that sixth grade, but that's a story for another day. We're not even gonna go there because that one hit deep. Broke my 12-year-old heart, but we ain't, we ain't even gonna go there. You feel me? But yeah, man, back in elementary school, you didn't have a care in the world. Ain't no bills. We had heelys. We was riding through campus, getting in trouble for having them things. Man, it's a good times, man. Now we all old, and I'm still looking like a joint. That's all that matters. Growing up, I ain't gonna lie to you. I was kind of a bad kid, you know what I'm saying? But that's just because I was just a product of my friends and my environment. Even where my school was, that's where all the ghetto kids came. So, you know, being a limited amount of black you know that's who i hung around with just you know for protection sake so there's a lot of things that i've done that my parents still don't know that i've done to this day and i know my parents will subscribe to me and if you watch this i'm sorry but don't ask me because i'm not telling you sorry so in elementary school my closest friend we're gonna we're gonna call him malik my closest friend was malik right i don't know how we became friends i really don't know this was the oddest friendship ever like i really do not understand how we became friends because at school, like we, like, I don't know, I guess it was like a brother type of love, you feel me? Because as we would always get into fights at school, he would come over, we would always get into fights at home. I just don't, it, he was he was annoying, like, and he was a hothead, like he got mad at everything. He wanted to fight everybody all the time. I, I don't understand, he was just an angry kid, you feel me? And I guess I just, you know, I mean, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was an angry kid too. I really had no reason to be. I was just a hothead for some reason too. I guess that's why we, we was friends, but we also, we, that's why we probably clashed a lot too. But his level of hothead was different. Like I remember we was walking to McDonald's and one of the, one of my homies said something. He got hot, like he got mad and he started going on this little rampage. He was going on, he picked up a bleach bottle, tried to drink the bleach. There was nothing in there. And then he tried to jump off the uh, balcony. We're like, bro, like, what is wrong? But like, we don't stop, bro. He's gonna kill himself. Like, like he, like, I don't know. He was a different time. He, he needed help for real, for real. He really needed help. But on this particular day, we was having, we was having a decent day. We was having a good day, right? You know, so my elementary school is around the corner from my house. Asked my mom if he could come over. My mom, I'm not gonna say my mom didn't like him, but she thought that he was a bad influence on me. I ain't gonna lie. But she still let me hang out, hang around with him, just because, I don't know why. But yeah, so our, our elementary school is around the corner from my house. So I, I'm still, I'm not allowed to walk home, right? Remember, my parents are strict. I'm not allowed to walk home. So we wait at school, wait for her to come walk around and come get us. We walking home 
and we at home, you know, doing what kids do. We, we playing a game or whatever. And it, it, I guess it gets kind of intense, I guess. And he started getting mad. And me, I start antagonizing him, getting even, getting him even more mad. You know, I just like to push people with buttons. I don't know why. Just because I, I like being, I like testing people. I don't, I don't, I don't know why. But so I was testing him. I was just antagonizing him, getting more mad, getting more mad, right? And then he pushed me. And I pushed him back and he hit me. And after that, we just started going at it. Like, we started going at it. And I got a belt. And I just started whooping him like, like a slave. Just, uh, oh, oh, oh. He started crying. My mom comes. She's like, all right, so you got to go home. Like, it's, it's done. It's wrapped. Everybody, everybody's done. Like, whatever. So after that, like, we not cool. Like, we not talking for a while, for like a, like a, like a few days. So I'm, I'm hanging out with other people at recess and lunch and stuff like that. So my other homie, I'm calling him Robert. Like, we was cool, but we wasn't really that cool. Um, I seen him, we was at recess one day, and we was hooping. We was playing basketball, and um, the bell rung, and we was getting ready to go to class, and um, I seen in his his backpack, he had, a, like, a BB gun, but it looked like a real gun. Like, it looked like a real gun. I'm like, yo, I'm like, that hard. Like, let me get that. Like, can I have that? Can I have that? He's like, yeah, bro, here, take it. I'm like, shoot. You know, you should have thought, like, why he give it to me so easy? You know what I'm saying? Like, he just gave it to me. I'm like, I'm like, shoot, whatever. I took it, put it in my bag, whatever. Going about my day, right? Bring it home. Right? I'm, I'm playing with it. I'm pretending, you know what I'm saying? I'm, like, I'm like I'm right from the hood. You know, I'm in sixth grade. I've seen all the movies. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the hood. I'm like, what you say, cuz? What you say, cuz? You know what I'm saying? I'm playing. I'm playing games, whatever. So I'm outside, right? My parents was at home. I'd be outside in the backyard and I'd be shooting at birds and stuff. The reason how my mom found out that I had it, cause my neighbor told on me and told her that I was shooting birds. Cause I guess the birds was like landing in his uh, backyard and the BBs was landing in his backyard too. And he was getting mad. And he told my mom and my mom, oh, what? What? She put it, she put the belt on me. She's like, what did you do with this? How'd you get this? Blah, 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 blah. You know, so I told her where I got it from. I got it from my homie. And she's like, and yeah, my mom hates guns. Like my mom and dad, like they just hate guns just in general. Even though my dad was in the military, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got your one, you know what I'm saying? I got me one, you feel me? I, you know what I'm saying? But she's like, look, you got to take it back. You got to give it back. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, looking back, I wonder if she realized that probably wasn't the best idea for me to take it back to school and give it to somebody. Mom, if you're watching this, that probably wasn't the best piece of advice you could have gave me, you know? But, whatever. So I was waiting for the right time to take it back. So I finally went, I finally decided to go take it back, right? It's in the morning. I see Robert, I call him over. I'm like, hey, look, man, my mom said I can't have this. I gotta get it back. All right, cool. I take it out of my bag and I give it to him, right? So that morning, you know, we dap up, boom, deuces. So we sitting in class, right? I'm telling you, we in class for like 15 minutes, right? And we sitting in the back. I don't know what we were talking about. We were talking about like heaven and hell and stuff like that, how he don't want to go to hell and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah, bro, yeah, I don't know, man. You ain't looking too good, my guy. <laughs> Cause this, cause this kid was bad. Like I thought I was bad. This kid was bad. But it's funny. Like right when we were talking about that, boom, four five cops come in asking for Eddie and Robert, and we turn around and we like, you know what I'm saying? And everybody, bro, I promise you, everybody in the class turned around and looked at us like snitching. They like, <laughs> like they over there. We're like, ah. Oh. Right, but at this point, like I, I still, I didn't have no clue. Like, what, what did they want? Like, I don't know why they was there. So, like, it's this big old scene, and like, so they put me, they put me and my homie, they put us in handcuffs, right? And they took it down to a little station. I don't know if it was like a real police station. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's like the sheriff's office or something like that, like down the street from the school. So it turned out, Malik told the security guard. I guess he seen me give the gun back to Robert. And when he seen that, he went and he told the security guard that I told him that I was gonna shoot him, right? So then they called the cops and boom, 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 all that happened, right? I know, snake, right? All because I whooped him with a belt. That is, oh my gosh, I killed him. 
But look, so we they took it down to a little sheriff office. We sitting in the little in the room, right? And I'm telling the homie, I'm like, all right, bro, look, just stay cool, be chill, we're gonna be solid, let me do all the talking, blah, blah. And I turn around, this nigga crying. He's crying. You know what I'm saying? He's supposed to be the hardest dude in school and you over here crying. Oh, he, he going to jail. He finna tell on me on some more shit. Like, at that point, I lost all hope. So they come in and they explain what happened. And we explain to them and they know that they looked at it and they know it's a BB gun and all that. So, um, to be long story short, you know, after being there for a while, they let us go, right? And that was basically by the grace of God because my dad was like, like the council for the city and they were trying to expel me from school. But we just got to step on the wrist with the suspension. Um, Robert, stop hanging out with him because he is softy. He almost got us arrested. He was finna snitch and smoke. He, he, he was finna lie on me. He was finna lie on me. So I stopped talking to him. Malik. I don't know what happened to him. He moved away. I don't know where he went, but good. Cause I would have beat the brakes off of that boy. I don't know where that boy went after my suspension bro disappeared. So I don't know what happened to that. Um, but yeah, man, that's just one of the many stories that I got through my childhood, man. Um, but that's going to conclude it for today's video, man. Thank y'all for tapping in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn the notification. We're on the road to 1K. And I'll see y'all next video.